Hey guys, Shaber1000 here again today. We're going to be checking out this, uh, what's it called? Turbo Blue Torch. It's like a lighter torch type thing. Alright. So, what we're going to do first, we'll get you down here, zoom you in a little bit. Now, it looks like it's got some fuel in it, but we're going to go ahead and add some. So, I don't know if this light's going to help or not. Let's see. Hopefully it won't blind us. Alright, so there it is. Um, I got this Walmart. It's not an as-seen-on-TV gadget. It's just a Walmart thing. It's half full. I don't know if you can see it in there. It's way through the... You see it moving in there? Anyway, it's half full. It's about up to there, so we're not going to fill it. You just It's butane. You fill it through the bottom, right there, that little deal. You fill it through there, and um, that's how you fill it. But we're just going to check it out real quick. Um, to use this, it's got a lock on the side of it. I'll show you here in just a second. Right there's the lock. So when you want to use it, you push it forward, backwards, uh, it's like so it doesn't accidentally get pushed. Now this thing here, you take this off, remove for use. Well, I already took it off once, and I broke it. But anyway, we don't need it on there now. Let's see right now, it's in the lock position. Wait a minute. There, the lock position, it won't go down. You slide it forward, and there's the torch, see? Okay, so, and it also has a little thing right here you can turn to make the flame go up and down. So now, I'm not gonna light a cigarette with this thing, because it's just like, you know, well, it's got one of them things you can put like a lanyard on it. See that? Right there. There you go. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I've got a beer can here. And we're going to see if we can melt a hole in this beer can. Alright? So let's try it out and see what happens. That was pretty scary. I don't know what I'll ever use it for, but it was six dollars, and I thought, what the heck, right? I mean, I'm sure I can use it to solder something with. That's getting really hot there. And I'm holding it like this in case it melts. It doesn't melt down on me. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's heating this can up. I feel it down here, above my finger down here. So I don't know. I imagine if I held it there long enough, it probably would melt a hole in it. It doesn't go off right directly away, but it's got a little smoke puffing up. Yeah. So anyway, just want to share that with you. Thought it was pretty neat. Yeah, I might be able to get some use out of it. That didn't hardly use any fuel at all that I could see. But, so like I said, maybe soldering something real, real small, real thin. You know, I might be able to get some use out of it. 
If not, I'll use it for a really neat cigarette lighter and blow people's minds. This thing is cool. Like I said, it was six bucks. And it's just butane, so. Yeah, it was starting to starting to go there. So I'm I'm pretty confident it would have melted. Let's go ahead and it's about half full. I'm sure it'll take a lot of this stuff. But let's let's try to fill it and see what happens here. Because I can look in there and see it. I see it. I see it bubbling. See the bubbles? Shit. Yeah. See the bubbles? You see bubbles in there? So it's definitely going in. It's going down. So I don't know if you can see them bubbles bubbling up or not there. I'm sure it'll last a while if I just use it for a cigarette lighter, but I'll throw up my toolbox and like I said, maybe solder them pretty good sized wires together. Yeah, that's uh, that filled it up some more there. So, all right guys, another quick little video of, video for you. It was just a um, um, little, you know, just a product review of the, the Turbo Blue torch. Pretty cool. And that thing's out there really hot uh, it's not like a oxygen settling torch of course but you know and if you know may take it camping you guys know me I like to start a fire with a spark but uh, you know if it gets wet it's rainy my woods wet this would come in handy you know cheat a little bit I haven't started a fire with a lighter in a long time I just usually use my fire starter. So, anyway, that's, uh, there you go. That's, I mean, so far it's pretty cool. I like it. And like I said, you can slide the lock over and it won't light. See? It won't light. I slide it forward and it lights. So, I'll keep it on lock for now. And again, there's the little thing that you, I had it all the way up for that, but you can turn it down. See if I can. See that it's really low. And it's high. So, there you go, guys. Another quick video for you. Stay tuned for my next video. It's going to be. I am going to be sitting by the fireplace, simulated fireplace, I know, for all you haters out there. It's not real. It doesn't matter. It's all I got. <laughs> but this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing this for the kids. It was the night before Christmas. I'm going to recite this. I uh, bought it at a Walmart too. Eight ninety eight. It was a dollar off. <laughs> so, but I'm going to recite this. And, uh never done it before kind of nervous about reading on camera but i'm gonna try to do it in one shot do it for the kids so merry christmas guys thanks for watching monkeys behind me uh kind of tidying up over there hanging stuff off the you'll see it if you watch the next video so thanks for watching guys shea bear the myth man the legend i'm gone for now bye bye guys